Well, let's go upstairs. Maybe that'll reveal something out to me. Is there upstairs on the other side? Yes. It's probably the same upstairs, honestly, but you never know. Well, this goes off somewhere. This must be the tower that you need 20k to open. Pretty stupid if there was, like, you know, a bunch of souls laying around allowing you to collect enough to open it. It's locked. It won't open. Just like that thing. Well, it's a shortcut. Sadly, in this game, you cannot jump up unless you glitch yourself up or something. Yeah. So, you have to get upstairs. Well, that's at least the way. That's a giant. Hi, giant. Ah, ha, ha! Mindless exploration has led me to another item that I probably just missed because I was blind. Or I'm somewhere else entirely that I've never been at. Yeah, I think I'm at a slightly higher level than before. Ugh. Yeah, just ever so slightly higher. Cool. See, this is much better. We're exploring the area, we're finding all kinds of goodies. That's what I want to see. Good day, sir. How are you feeling? Quite beat up, eh? I understand. Yeah. If I was sitting around all day doing nothing, I'd feel the same way. Well, that looks like a path to somewhere. Hey! Well, that was dumb. What happened there was that I accidentally pressed forward, I guess, and then did a forwards attack instead of not doing a forwards attack, which was what I intended to do. Hey, you could have completely not gone that way and would have picked up all the stuff. So... I can't help but think that I'm missing the part where I'm supposed to stab the sword into the thing and then, you know, fancy stuff happens, but I guess, I mean, I can't... I cannot do that which I cannot do. And I'm sick and tired of this gloomy place, so I'm leaving. Screw you guys! I'm going this way this time. Let's see what's this way. It's probably the same thing. But you never know. It's literally not the same thing. It's a dead end instead. Because, of course, you would want a dead end. Why would you want a dead end? I don't know. I guess someone jumped up there and magically stayed on top of it. Lucky fucker. What's this? The bonfire would deliver Thee to Lothric. Yeah, I need to change this around or something. There we go. I think that's better. For now, anyway. Alright, let's go. Bonfire will deliver me onto some place that I cannot be delivered onto because I cannot find the thing that I... Maybe the bonfire is at the top. Maybe it's above this thing. Maybe I'm looking at it from the wrong perspective. You know you know what I mean? You know what I mean. There's a little bit of a higher ledge. A lot of people died in here. Yeah, I see you. And I raise you a parry. This motherfucker is tough. Oh, he parried me this time. Man, he is... He is bleeding me down. I really need to, uh, Kick his ass proper. He's almost as tough as the boss. Okay, you guys stay. I've got a personal vendetta against this motherfucker. Oh, that was bad. Thankfully, I recovered from that fucking disaster of a move. Uh, 
Okay, he's pretty hard to parry because he has like these really long windups. But we'll we'll get him. We'll get him. It's it's the problem is of course that you know he, when he gets me at the start, it like really fucks me up for uh, the attempt. I didn't seem to lose hell. Oh, maybe I'm just gradually losing it like in Dark Souls 2. You know that mechanic that I didn't like from Dark Souls 2? Because it's fucking retarded. There you go. There we have it again. Can't have nice things. Alright, so... There's no way we can use Anestas properly. We just have to... Deliver the plane as exquisite with just... What have we got here? God, that's ridiculous. So some of his attacks are really fast, and some are really slow. It's like almost impossible to properly predict. One of the worst type of enemies to parry, you know. Wait, my souls are getting higher and higher. We're gonna take these, and then we're gonna take this fight a little bit lower. Wonder if I can make him drop. Oh. Yeah, look at that. I was completely staggered. I was clicking tab, but nothing happened. When his first attack connected, I started trying to parry, but it wouldn't work. So. I guess I guess it's because I'm not wearing any armor or something. Well, let's let's try that theory. Also, I checked my life, and my life doesn't seem to be going down. So maybe it's not all bad. It's just for this one asshole, we'll put on the full suit. I do feel like I'm weightier now, like I'm running a bit slower or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the way it looks when she runs now. <laughs> this suit of armor doesn't suit you. Uh, okay, okay. Alright. Well, there you go. Now we can pick up this stuff without any trouble. So I get it now. Okay. So... When he, you know, prepares his weapon, is actually not striking. This is what I've understood now from our exchanges, is that uh, he doesn't actually like he can prepare his weapon but not strike at all. I assume that that like disables some functions, but it's so weird. It also makes parry infinitely more retarded against that particular weapon, because because it's like well just prepare oh. He's doing an attack. Oh no, he's just he's just getting ready. Ah, that's fine. You live and learn. Or in this case you die and learn. Well that was stupid. So what I have noticed is that the armor does seem to uh, somehow allow me to parry even even though he's attacking me so I'm guessing the it does give me some poise yeah you see poise is eight I assume it's because of the armor very interesting very very interesting but yeah it's pretty clear that uh, the strategy of parrying is uh, a losing one because he has so many different attacks and as soon as he gets me with one of these fast attacks which are the most difficult to parry because you can't really see them because they just happen instantly pretty much and parrying is about predicting a timing of an attack so if an attack is instant you can't really predict shit and we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way of stabbing
seems that he has no poise. Yeah, but as soon as he clips me, as you can see, I'm dead. Because he staggers me and I can do nothing. I don't like that. I really, really, really don't like that aspect of the game. It kind of means that you really need to wear armor. At least some armor to have at least some poise. Which, uh, as you can see, is kind of hard and difficult to accomplish while still being able to dodge. Properly assuming the dodge even works the way I think it does, which might not, because this is Dark Souls. Who knows how Dark Souls works, right? At least we made some progress in the fight, so, yeah. Uh huh. You're very scary. All right, let's run away. Hill. Oh, he's coming. Find it. We shall fight on a better battleground than this. Come over here. Yeah. Oh, he blocked. Stop it. This is PvP practice, if nothing else. How to judge the distance of an enemy. Of course, PvP would be laggy. Oh, you don't want to fight there? What's the matter? Afraid of a fire? You don't strike me as... that kind of a person. Fine, then. Let's fight here, then. I guess you like this place so much. You live here your entire life. Death. Whatever. Come on. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I'm trying to stab low because that seems to be his shtick that he goes really, really, uh... He really kneels down for that EI strike. I mean, it's technically not an EI strike. Yeah, see him go down? Oh, you. You should be happy I'm so nice to these two guys. Yeah, it, it just doesn't seem to work to actually be very aggressive against this guy as he has the ability to kill me if he clips me. Whereas I don't have that ability because my weapon isn't plus 15 katana with bleed. Are you gonna come or not? Fine. Ugh. Really? See, now that one was his uh, strike. And then follow up with that strike. But I fucking saw that that strike followed me. Ever so slightly forward. He lunged far more than, you know, he would normally do. I'm gonna review this footage, so I don't know. It might be wrong, but that's the way it looked to me that time. It's fine, though. Where's my souls? I died over here. Where are they? God, I think I died over here. <laughs> Giving me a lot of credit there, game. You know what? I'm going up there. Maybe that's a better battleground. Ah, shit. Oh, that's fucked. Uh, not really. Kind of sucks. 
Why does this place suck so much? It's because of you, isn't it? Ooh, maybe we can make him fall off. Hmm. Hmm. So that is his parry stance, actually. Okay, so I wasn't seeing things before. In fact, if he puts his weapon inside the sheet, that's a parry stance. Apparently. Oh, good, 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 no. Has my health gone down at all? I'm in the wrong menu. No, good. It does feel like my health is lower right now, but... That just means if I use a humanity, I gain a health boost. Which is still pretty stupid, making a mistake. I don't I don't think that's a good way to manage your health. But at least it's not as stupid as the second game. Oh, come on. God. Stop it. God, I hate that attack. Simply because he gets like too low for me to properly attack him. Unless I really get like... Yeah, that's bullshit. I attacked twice there. But my attack didn't connect and his did. I mean, that weapon looks like it's really overpowered and stuff but I bet like if you try to use it as a player it's a complete ass because you need to do all these handing handing it in the sheet or above and like I can just imagine it being complete shit all right asshole it was fun playing around with you but now now's the real deal come here I've learned all I need from you maybe I should remove my shield but then I can't parry randomly which is not a very good thing either. Nope. Well, that was box, but okay. What's a strong attack? Huh. Hey, you should try that sometimes. What the hell? A jumping attack is from running? That doesn't even make sense. But I like that. That will help me against this person here. It means I have a much longer range attack than I thought I did. Which is good. I need long range attacks. Oh yeah!
That's not good. Yeah, his, his attack is way faster than mine. Yeah. So, the, the strong attack is strong, but it's way slower than his attacks. So, it doesn't matter how strong it is. And I can't seem to be pulling off the jumping quite as easily as I would want to. I can do the first one, I suppose. Man, that's bullshit. Yeah, he's just way too slow. Compared to his stuff. God damn it, that's so dumb how fast he can recover from those attacks. And that attack is just stupid. You're stupid! I hate you! Your attacks are dumb. You're dumb. And I'm falling! Yeah, no, look at how stupidly fast that is. I still cannot understand properly how the uh, fighting on the stairs works, which is, uh, it really doesn't, <laughs> it really just sucks ass. Hmm. Wonder if my s single stab will be faster than the two-handed stab. Well, that was surprisingly easy when you figure out how to push him off the edge. Yeah, I was trying to use two-handed stabs, but I guess they're slightly slower. Hmm. Too bad he didn't give me his katana. Door does not open from this side. Are you fucking kidding me? Just fucking, just put your hand in and open it from the other side. You, you can, you can put your hand in. You, your hands are slim. <sighs> Apparently, there was not even a point in any of this. Well, maybe I'm quick to judge. Maybe there's some point to some of this. No. I just killed a man by throwing him off the roof for no reason. Now what? Let's find out if he respawns. That's important information. Hey, he doesn't respawn, but his item respawned for reasons. There we go. Finally, a weapon worth trying. I cannot wield it because I do not have the one strength that would be required. And one dex. That's fine. I have 3,000 souls. Perhaps that's enough to make it usable. Because if there's one thing I really want to make use of is, you know, cool ass Japanese swords. Gotta be careful though, there's this dog somewhere here still. Pro 
probably behind that corner. Need to get my souls. Milady, I brought my sword. Ashen one, the mark of yeah, that guy just got up like as if there was something that should be here. Uh, I don't think I have two levels. I definitely need plus one dexterity and then I can dual wield this anyway. Right? Okay. So now I can dual wield this. And I'll get the strength with the next level up. I'm way slower than that guy. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what? He could hold it above his head for long amounts of time. Why can't I do that? How do you parry with this then? Anyway, yeah, it's a cool weapon, I like it. I need more souls. Mayhaps some of these items grant me souls? Well, they obviously do, but how much? That should be enough, right? Yes. Very well. Then take oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! Then touch the darkness within me. Take no Farewell, may the Maybe I just have to put equip it. Well no, that's not it. I can't use it. Thrust and shrine bonfire. How is this not working? I am confused already. I've exhausted all the options, I think. Well, let's try my sword against a dog. Man, that eats up a lot of stamina. Hey! I didn't see you before, or did you? Are you the same guy that was depressed and just moved? The poor, wretched souls. They sound a bit different. Be they lord or legend, the curse shows no mercy. What a sham. The poor be they. What a. Sh okay. Hope that wasn't your dog I killed there. Not that I would feel sorry, because that dog is a bitch.